Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Happy Hour Podcast. Of course, I'm Ray. I'm sitting here with Matt. Mike couldn't join us, unfortunately, as always. We're here with Tommy Simbazo. This is our one-year anniversary episode. We're going to have a couple of guests come in and come out. Um, of course, Vincent Painter. Vince, how you doing, man? Thank you for coming up. NFL star Vincent Painter. Bob Starr, former WCW superstar. As we know, Bubba Almany, he'll be coming in. Author David Gilbert, he'll be coming through. Guys, how's it been, man? Hey, you, know, you know who won't be coming through? <laughs> Al Snow. <laughs> <laughs> Al Snow keeps ducking Cypertes. But who, who would have thought? The shirt, the shirt will be available soon. <laughs> <laughs> who would have thought that a year ago when we started this show that our degenerate assets would still be doing this a year later? Um, we've had a lot of big stuff. Thank you to Jimmy Seafood for letting us come out and doing this here. Uh, we were in a bind. We had a wonderful meal. Of yeah. course, shout out to Matt. Matt from Scissor Fist, he's here. Um, and it's, it's actually pretty funny. I, I've listened to Matt's album. I listened to it all the way through. And if you ever wanted to hate fuck, of course, that's the album. That's the soundtrack that you would do it to. That is 100% the album that you would want to do it to. I've said I've listened to it. And, and, you know, it, it made me think. Every you know, CD comes with yeah, shovel. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, made me, it made me kind of think. I'm like, you know, in my mind, I'm just saving stuff up for today. And it's like, you know, have you ever sat there and thought to yourself, I want to have sex with a dead body? Like, I guarantee he did. That's the thing. And Cypertines may or may not have. have but just, just imagine that. Like, you remember Paul Bear? Paul Bear was always like, Paul Bear. And the whole thing is, is Paul Bear was Paul Bear going, Oh, yeah. Or because Paul Bear saw a body that he liked. And he was like, Oh, yeah. I mean, look at, and Tommy, like, would you or would you not? You're a corner. You're going into somebody's place to pick up a body. Uh -huh. And the body is Anna Nicole Smith. Yes. Now, now look at yourself. Well, it was Katie Rose. Yeah. Oh, it was Katie Rose. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, when Anna Nicole went, <laughs> it, it, it doesn't matter when. I would have done yeah. Anna Nicole at either stage. Wait, how did Katie get that? Katie, 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 Snag a little rat. Just oh, oh for the record, yeah. This is I'm like, guys, you'll smell it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a famous thing. For the record, Katie Burr's been dead for 13 months. I'd still do it. <laughs> I should say I would do Elizabeth Taylor now and just not tell people when it happened. <laughs> and you always give me heat, right? You, you kill one hooker and people won't let you forget it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, well, see, I mean, here's the thing, and I mean, it's crazy because it's like, do you know how much of that probably goes on? Like, you know, you sit there and someone brings a corpse in, you know, someone sits there and does it. And, and I delivered doctors for them. There was a time I went to you How many you had sex with? <laughs> <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so, but I, I sit there and I deliver to University of Maryland Healthcare. So we have a printer. We have to take it down there. And the room was autobiography something. I'm like, it's the fucking room. No doubt, it's the room. So it was where they do live autopsies. So they're doing the live autopsy. We go down there and the autopsy is happening. And they're like, oh no, don't worry about it. If there's an autopsy, there's a light right there. It'll be on if they're doing an autopsy. So the light's not on, don't worry about it. We open up the door. Sure enough, they have a dude who's probably about 400 pounds on a table, ripped open. And I'm just, I'm holding the printer. I'm like, and they're like, and the guy. Sorry, right, he's dead. He yeah, 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 yeah. And the guy that I'm with, he's like, do you need me to take it? It's not that I was horrified because I'm into all the horror and, you know, all that. It was more so that I thought they were going to be like, hey, Bob, say hello and have him wave his arm. Hey, you want to take a peek? You want to give him a tug? Hey, 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 uh, you, you want something? Hey, like, he, he's freshly you dead. Yeah, you, you can get your hey, You could have picked up the head of match and buried anything you were doing with Butch <laughs> <laughs> and if they need to bury it, Socrates has the experience because Socrates, as a prostitute, buried in his backyard. <laughs> oh, allegedly. Allegedly. Now, now, Vince, thank you for coming back out. You you joined us earlier on this year. Yeah. And when you did, Tommy Simbaza, his girlfriend was on vacation, so he had himself some mushroom juice. And now, mind you, we, we went the break. And when we went the break, Tommy was Tommy. Yeah. When we came back from break, was Tommy fine. wasn't Tommy was anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so how, how's everything going with you, man? How's everything going at the at the dispensary and, and all that? Everything's been smooth, brother. The dispensary was doing well. Uh, we tried to allow people back inside, so we kind of lifted up the COVID restrictions. We, we just did curbside? We were only curbside like the last year, and it's been pretty uh, that, great. That's crazy that, like, that you can get marijuana curbside. I know, right? Curbside marijuana. Like, uh, what the fuck? I love, I love living yeah. in the central yeah. business now. Yeah, what? <laughs> what, what world is this 
that you can get curbside marijuana. That's, you know, what, what is this? It's like, okay, yeah, let, let's just go pick up marijuana curbside. In the 2020s. Yeah. <laughs> no, do you realize that if this would have been happening when I was in WCW, the whole wrestling world would have been changed? <laughs> <laughs> it would have been great. <laughs> so what fucked up towns we had to go to straight? That was yeah. cool. Yeah. Now, what, now we had a conversation off air before the show. What if you'd have been on Sarah Quill? We were talking about this also. I was sitting there eating some food. Bob, would you or would you not? And this is just a question to me in general. And me and Secretaries are having this conversation. We're talking about who the biggest uh, local wrestling icons were. Two that came to mind were you and Axel Rotten. And I said, and to be fair, a week apart. Yeah, to, to be right. fair, I feel like you might be a little bit more renowned than Axel Rotten. Now, granted, Axel was in ECW. However, you were able to work Randy Savage. Ric Flair, Sting, guys like that. So if you sit there and take it by the whole thing of experience and who you worked, then hey, you know it may very well be Bob. So uh, he's, basically, he's basically trying to get you to say you're a bigger star than Axel. <laughs> it depends on which way you look at it, because yeah. Axel was a bona fide star in ECW. Yeah. Of course, he had to have kill himself when he was there to do it, cool. but it, it is what it is. Like my. Like Ray knows, I don't have any problems with what I I was an enhancement guy. I made the stars. Yeah. It's just like when Starcast came in Baltimore with Condor and Thompson. We are the stars that made these guys. That's what's missing in the rest of the business now. And that's why people disappear and nobody misses them. They don't yeah. even know who the fuck they are to yeah. start with. You know? <laughs> like with us, we made we took whatever your character was, whatever the deal was for the night, and just enhanced it even more. Why? Because they got to see all the moves. Most of the guys only knew how to do like eight or ten moves anyway. It ain't like that. Right? Yeah. You know, and you run through whatever they do, you know. When I wrestled Ricky Steamboat, I looked at him and I said, Rick, what do you want to do? He goes, you know the deal. I said, all right, that's it. Yeah. I'm wrestling the world fucking champion. He won't talk to me. He just says, you know what to do. <laughs> okay. I guess I've been around long enough that I know what to do. And yeah. it came off well. But I mean, and I've never had a problem with that. And back in the day, people used to talk shit all your job guys. And shit. I was making 70 grand a year. Doing to nothing. lose. You're I worked 70 grand, grand a year to lose. I, I worked yeah. three minutes a night, right? And <laughs> I would get high and bang girls in hotels all over the country. <laughs> and that's a job. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Baltimore and this this town was Baltimore, Philly, Richmond. It was a hot town. Yeah. Um, but now make soccer uh, teams the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soccer yeah. 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 teams is now now the camera. It's got an eye. And Tommy. <laughs> You were, you were telling an interesting story that you went to pick up some stuff for us to use tonight. Yeah, what's good? And pick up? You, you were able to open for Whitney Cummings. Well, they, they had, oh. yeah, they, uh, I went to Movies to pick up podcast stuff for tonight, which we ended up not using. <laughs> uh, but the place was packed, and I'm yeah. like, who's here? And they're like, oh, it's Whitney Cummings. And I was like, okay. So I just went to go drink till the end of the show so I could get my equipment. And then the owner of the club came to me and pushed past people that had asked to be on the show. <laughs> and I was like, hey, can, uh, Whitney's running late. Uh, her plane came in late. They lost her luggage. Uh, and he was like, can you do it? Can you do five minutes? And I was like, sure. He was like, how about eight minutes? And I was like, yeah, I can do eight. He was like, how about you just do time until we give you a light and tell you to stop? And I'm like, okay. So they uh, they slipped a note to the to the feature act so he could bring me up. And usually with the name Simbazo, every if you're reading it, everybody. Well, when you look at it, the ca closed captioning on Facebook yeah. it calls you Basso. B yeah. A S S O. Tommy Basso. <laughs> so, but he was like, "All right, I'll give it up for special guest Tommy Simbazo." No one's ever emphasized the Z. <laughs> Tommy Simbozo. You're like, I'm not Bozo the Clown. I'm like, <laughs> you just come out and you're like, yeah, tonight I'm going to tell jokes and I'm going to throw balls into a can. <laughs> well, I've, been doing, I've been doing VR comedy, like yeah. with the Oculus. And uh, I've been doing VR comedy. It's crazy because it's like you're performing for 40 cartoon characters. And uh, the, this guy actually asked me, he was like, Hey man, uh, you're not really Sinbad, are you? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's me. Yeah, yeah, Sinbad. I'm Sinbad. Yes, this is my genie movie that doesn't exist. I made a white guy so avatar. So, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> like, Tommy, Tommy Smiles is like the whitest guy in the world. Are you Sinbad? Yeah. Like, <laughs> what, what, what do you think? <laughs> oh my God. And of course, we're going to get to some of our games. And I, I have oh. one new game in mind. 
and it's basically word association hot potato. Okay. So pretty much we're each going to say a word. And whatever our word is, it's kind of like Uno. Needs to match, but flip one to a different subject. Okay. It can be any word you can think of. I'll start, then I'll go around. I want to just keep on associating words with each other until someone can't get it or until we just fucking get tired of it. So okay. I'm going to start off with, let's see, we were talking so about, but yeah, okay. we were talking so about Anna Nicole Smith. So I'm going to say boobies. Okay. So we got to say anything associated with Yeah. Nipples. Yeah. 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 Areola. <laughs> Thoughts. <laughs> Okay, so it went a different direction. That, that's the so fox. Hot. Questions. Hot. Hot. Hot? Okay. I was coming. I thought it was going to say rats. And now it's going to come back. Old man, because she married an old man. That's because she's a rat. <laughs> I don't know. What was the next old man? Old man. Yeah. Old man. Old man. Old man. Well, that's the one word. Doesn't have to be. Saggy. Saggy. All right. Jesus. I do want to put you tits. I do want to put you his tits. Uh, well, it's too long, right? Yeah. Long. Rat. Rat. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you I knew I knew it was coming. And, uh, and Bob, what, what as we know, Bob, you've been doing a lot of conventions this year. I've done so, a couple. Yeah, you've done a couple. It's, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, it, and people don't realize that, you know, they charge you to get in the door and yeah. they buy autographs and stuff like that. We're having more fun than they are because we haven't gotten to see each other in forever. It's just yeah. like we do football. You might not get to see your boys for forever, but when you get a chance to get together, it's on. Oh. And it's like, you know, I, I, like I saw Greg Valentine a couple of weeks ago. One, I, was, I walked up, I was like, what's happening? Greg, I want to get a picture. And it's just like, and that was it. He's yeah. just like sitting there. Like, I'm like, Wow, dude, like I ain't never been that <laughs> and he was straight. Yeah, you know, yeah. don't get me wrong. But it, it the convention circuit is where it's at now, man. Like when I first got into wrestling, you had to pound the road. These guys are making more money selling eight by tens than they ever did in the three yeah. three. Conventions and all that. Yeah, it's it's insane. It, with and they got the idea from the whole horror convention thing. Because obviously movie stars can't do they're not on the road touring, yeah. but they're that's where the model came from. I watched the thing. Rob Einstein did a, uh, a thing where you would go to the website and buy an 8x10 and then Matt Hardy signs it right on live camera, right? Four and a half hours of him signing shit. And he brought a, he had this giant bag of old clothes, like different outfits and shit. Yeah. So yeah. Matt Hardy is the consummate. Bunch of neon fish. He's <laughs> everything. Yeah. Now, now, now we all know we're like, you guys order some food, so they yeah. brought out some food. Yeah, one of you food. guys want to swap with somebody else so you can go eat real quick sure. and like swap. Can, I, can I tell you one story now? Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. I tell you I got to go fight in the movies? Did you really? On Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> and we did the murder mystery on a Sunday. Everybody had left. There was a, a, a group that hadn't paid their bill. There was a, a big dispute about their bill. This one drunk guy tries to push his way in. The security guard. Who was there? He tried to push past security. He turned around two feet. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah, and dropped it. And then I was like, dude, uh, it's not worth it. Just leave him around the way. So <laughs> then the guy pushed, tried to push past He came back in and I put my arm on the thing and he tried to push past me. Sir, you can't come in. There's a, there's a dispute right now. And he's like, well, why did he hit me? And I was like, if you wait here, I will go find out why he hit me. So I went back and I was like, why'd you hit him? And he was like, well, they weren't paying your bill. And he was, I was like, no, no, what happened? He was like, he tried to push past me. So two guys. <laughs> so I went back out and I said, sir, you got hit because you tried to push past security during the altercation. Okay. I said, like, well, why'd he hit me? <laughs> because you tried to push past security during an altercation. Okay. Well, why'd he hit me? Because you deserve it. I was like, you yeah, yeah, tried to push it. And then he was like, well, now I'm going to hit you. <laughs> it's like grade school. Why'd he hit me? Why'd he hit me? He was like, well, I don't give a fuck. And then my brain was like, Oh, he doesn't want a resolution. He just wants to fight. So yeah, I yeah. took off my glasses and I put, took my phone out and put it on the table. And I still, I was like, sir, look, you're going to have to calm down. They're going to, yeah. you're going to settle it. And then the smallest guy that worked at the boobies came outside and the guy took a swing at him. And before he even connected, next thing, I had my arm around his neck trying to do a rear naked choke, but I had no muscle memory. Oh, oh. I was just like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just sleeping, just sleeping. <laughs> and uh, he, he pushed back. And so I went to go throw him against the wall, but the wall there is a glass wall. Oh, oh. oh. and please tell me you just went through the wall. Just, the wall just shattered. Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, crap. <laughs> and then the frame buckled and the whole wall fell over. 
and then we're on the ground. Yeah. And then I got on top of him and I was holding his wrists. And he threw, it, was a, it was a big fat guy and he threw a knee. And it wasn't, I was like, oh, it's, 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 like, it's, like, it's like, how did he even get his knee up to hit you? Yeah, like, I, that's I, was, like, I was his like, his knee's not passing. I was just pressed. Because he hit him, and it, 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 I wasn't close enough because yeah. it was just like, bink. But then I was like, all right. And I, I always wanted, there was a move I've always wanted to do. I read it, come through manuals. And yeah. stuff. So I yell, monkey grabs the peach. And I reached down and I grabbed his nuts and fucking <laughs> squeezed. And he was like, woo, 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 woo. And then I re grabbed his hands and he looked me dead in the eyes and he was like, yes. Fuck you, Tommy. Then <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, Well, I've, never, I've always wanted to throw an elbow. Yeah. So I threw an elbow at his head and it hit his head and it, it went, Pop off. So Tommy beat this guy up. I mean, he's the only things he's always just wanted to do to me. Like, that's the thing. And then, and then next thing you know, Tommy's just like, I've always wanted to fuck <laughs> I've always wanted to fuck I told this story in VR comedy, but when I did, I said, once I had control of him, yeah. I reached down and I unzipped his pants and pulled his dick out. <laughs> and gave him two tugs and yeah. put it back and zipped his yeah. pants. And then I whispered in his ear, happy pride month. <laughs> what no, 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 no. no, 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 sex dolls? No. I, wonder, I wonder if you can order a sex doll and make it look like a corpse. I don't know. But you know what? Now we have to Now now there'll be a market for that. Now they see the world. You have to have sex dolls today. The way they look is insane. They're so realistic. So realistic that it's crazy. It's like you're much like you you can drop like a good 5k. 5k for low end. Yeah, for low end. You drop like 10k. Yeah, you're getting Anna Nicole Smith. Like they're gonna dig up Anna Nicole Smith. They're gonna dig up Anna Nicole Smith, replace her parts with big parts, and then they're gonna send her to the house. And that's the way it's gonna happen. Did you know I'm sure WWE stuff? What are you doing? There's a guy called the Real Doll Doctor, and he has a website. And people wait, 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 wait. He's the Real Doll Doctor. I've been on there. I've seen that. And people send them their real dolls to get fixed, and he just takes pictures of the process. And there was one. He was like, this customer asked me if I could rebuild the doll's asshole, but it was it was so damaged. I just had to spackle it closed and tell him to do some other doll. I, I, can't, I can't help the fact uh, that your doll's ass looks like a Pringles can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. There was another guy that he went on vacation when they delivered the real doll. So it sat in its crate oh, and like no. in the hot heat. And when he got oh, it, 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 it sagged to the point where it just looked like a, a middle-aged woman. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay 10 grand to have sex with my wife. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't pay, I didn't pay 10 grand to have sex with grandma. Yeah. Like, this isn't the way it works. Well, maybe you know what? Maybe I did. Cypertees will be like, works for me. I preach that standard, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and I like how you treat sex dolls like I treat peeps. I cut the package open and wait for it to go stale. <laughs> Tommy <laughs> just cuts open the peeps and puts them outside and just <laughs> waits for them to deteriorate. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do real quick. And uh, Vincent, since the last time you've been on, oh. we have a new game. Oh, it's called Incoherent. Oh. So I think since the last time Bob's been on, we might have did this Where one of the episodes Bob's <laughs> been on before. <laughs> what are we so here's what we're going to do is I'm going to hold up a card. And pretty much, it's in drunken ease. And you need to tell me what the card says. There's two hints on the back. So sound this card out the best way you can, and let me know what that says. You want a hint? Yes, one hint. Interference. I still A national pastime second to vodka. A lot of it's been happening. National pastime to what? Second, what? Second to what? Russia. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. Russia must be a very new game. Russia hat. <laughs> Russia, yes, yes, Russian hacking. Uh -huh. Russian hacking. Yes, yes. yes. It's the the like, All right. So let's see. What else? What else? What else we have here? Show it ahead. All right. So. This one's a little bit more sexual oriented. Sexually oriented. Wait, <laughs> 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 I think this was a family show. <laughs> that sounds like some shit he was doing yesterday. Yeah. So the hint is kinky underwear. No. Kinky <laughs> underwear. <laughs> Another hint is don't judge a book by its cover. 
That's like a dusty road line. Oh, it doesn't put past color, but it sounded it sounded out. Very consistent. Very consistent. It's not for delicious. Damn it. All right. Barricade's tushy. It is freak in the sheets. Freak in the sheets. That's why every kid does sheets. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Very up or down. So, Tommy, you said you have some food here, correct? I do. I do. So, if you want to go get some food, I guess okay. grab, uh, grab Summer or Bubba and have one of them come up. They'll take your spot. So, Vincent, do you have anything going on with the football stuff, man? Like, I know last time we talked, you brought up the CFL. Like, there could be something going down. Of course, after being on our show, you know, the last few times, you're probably just kind of like, yeah, we're, we're not signing this. <laughs> no, so, so, what happened was, like, I talked to you know, the Scouts or whatever, and they were kind of on the fence of what was going to happen with COVID or whatever. Whether it was gonna have a season, whether it was not gonna have a season, so I was kind of, I, I didn't really like the uncertainty of it. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, the dice, I kind of like that somewhat of a short thing. And uh, so with them not being so short, the coach kept yeah. saying, you know, we have a season. Yeah. So, uh, I told my situation is that do invest in your family. Yeah. We need to get ready to kick things off. We're probably gonna know what it's not doing, but it's kind of what it is. So, I mean, they're, they're seeing this mess up in the air the last couple of years. I kind of just been kicking back and forth. Yeah, it's getting in shape and whatnot. But, um, yeah, man, I, I think ball might, uh, my next step with ball will be training guys. Yeah, so, nice, yeah, nice. Trying, to get, trying to get some younger guys that ready for next step. Good stuff. I'm talking to my high school coach. You want me to come and work with some of his old line guys and start getting them together. So, uh, well, look at it like this. It's a double whammy. You train guys, and yeah. then you also have – you know your dispensary. Well, so if they're beaten up afterwards, just be like, "Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I lost that pencil. I lost the feel a little dry right now. <laughs> and of course, uh, Tom, Tommy stepped away to eat real quick, so we're going to welcome in Sunny Summer. So you you are in the adult film industry, and you've been around for a very very long time. So. Yeah, VHS. Uh, so now, yeah. now since, well, since well, you was, what, what, what is that? Like, I'm pretty sure at some point, Psycho Keys has gotten his dick stuck in the VCR. But <laughs> for, for some reason, and I just, I don't know why. Like, like, you just, you get so excited. You just, you just grab something. You're like, yeah, I need to fuck something. I just, yeah. so you just grab the VCR, rip it off the wall, and ah! And you know, it, well, usually that's when I watch my own matches because I'm such a mark for myself. <laughs> now, since since you've been in the industry, of course, it's changed a lot. How have those changes over time for you? How have those changes went different? Because of course you have an OnlyFans. Everybody has an OnlyFans. Winston has an OnlyFans. Like, yes, yeah, and if he doesn't, he will after today. Because everybody has. <laughs> 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 I know. Yeah. 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 Now, how, how has the industry changed for you? It's, you know, we started from the VHS era for wrestling. That's what started it all. Yeah. Most of that is and all that stuff. So we started from the gym and the guy that said, hey, I do custom videos. And okay. Snowball. <laughs> That, 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 that's a common word in porn. Snowball. 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, Star does about the snowballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Bob's like, when I'm done, I'm going to smoke some snowballs. That's what it's called. <laughs> what do you think he is? New Jack? Yeah. But yeah, you know, I mean, you know, watch Martin. Yeah, because the video is for Yeah. Yeah, you had to go find it. You had to know what you wanted to watch. Yeah, you're just sitting there just wandering up and you're, you're a weird guy that wanders the VHS section and the DVD section in a store for porn. Now we can now, do it all literally. Now I can just I pick up my phone and be like, hey, tell a quick story about VHS porn. Sure, sure. When I was a kid, my mom's uncle would always come over to our house because we had a VCR and he didn't because he was in 84. So he'd always come over and he'd go in the living room and watch the movie. So my mom, would like, <laughs> my mom would take me out and say, Uncle, wants to, Uncle Hoggy wants to watch his movie. So I figured he's watching like Clint Eastwood or something. Yeah. I found out years later, he was in the whole time watching porn and jerking off. Oh. So now I had this image in my mind of my Uncle Hoggy, who was 86 in my living room, jerking off. <laughs> and my mom takes me to McDonald's for a happy meal. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. 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 we're live at Jimmy's Famous Seafood. 
And unfortunately, there there are some children here. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's that's what happens. Like well, we, we can't. But I, I, I think I, I, unfortunately the, the the mic stuff we couldn't get the mic stuff throughout here to work one hundred percent perfect. Maybe fortunately, However, we're not as loud as what you would think. But when we first started, if they can make it past the start that we had to this show, I think they can make it past everything. You can have a different feeling. Oh yeah, yeah, and, and I mean that. That's the whole thing now. And I always ask every adult film star this whenever they're older, is if you could do a porn parody for anything out there, any series, movie, TV show, what would it be? Oh, I'm still trying to do the main West where she has a whole line of men. No. <laughs> <laughs> The Mae West. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, that, that's I'm it. That's it. Now, now you can go re release a CBD that's now called 100. the Mae West. And it's a whole line. It's a whole line. Oh, my God. That's so good. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, get a, I get a phone call. Bob, you're going to be on the one-year anniversary. Okay. There's a porn star. There's an NFL player. Oh, yeah, you know, comedian. You know, and I'm yeah. going... Holy shit. Yeah, now, now, now we're going to be a good time. Of course, Bubba Albany is here. David Gilbert, he's Hopper, he's here. Now, the whole thing is, is when I put all this together, I was like, I want to get a lot of people who have absolutely nothing in common <laughs> together in one place. And, yeah, and I, I was telling Secretaries this, that, you know, we have a pro wrestler, we have a football player. We have an adult film star. We have a celebrity bodyguard. We have an author. You know, yeah, at any time, I'm just waiting for MTV's cameras to run in here and start recording. Wait, 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 start, yeah. They're not teenagers yeah. and pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah, go on yeah, MTV yeah. anymore. But, but that, that, that's the thing. And speaking of Team Mom, what's, what season are they on that? Like, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like Team Mom season 30. And I'm like, these bitches are my age. How is this Team Mom? It's, it's almost, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and you know what? That was the best thing that came out of Team Mom. <laughs> the best thing that came out of Team Mom was Farrah. That that chick though, she there's something wrong with her. Like how many times like, she, she lost the ball there? Yeah, how many yeah. times? Once each. <laughs> but I don't know. 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 Then we need to send her psycho cheeses away. Then that way she upsets psycho cheeses and he puts her in a hole right next to the other one. Yeah. 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 Ye
And what we're going to do is we're going to do three second rule, or five second rule. I'm sorry. It's a five second rule. It'll start with it'll start with Bob and go this way. So when he gets it, we'll go to another card, flip this one over. No one gets it. It's just a dead round, and we're all just idiots. So what we're going to do is it's going to start with Bob. So Bob, what we need you're, you're going to flip it. Once he flips that over, we need the name of three potato chip flavors. Starting now. Barbecue, honey, and sour cream. All right, that was easy enough. So now, now it goes to Benston. Benston, name three reasons to turn off your cell phone. Sweet. Sweet. Ah, you did it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what, what were the first things you said? Yeah. Sleep, sleep. sleep and sleep. meaning. All right, so those two are out. So now it goes to David. David, three reasons to turn off your cell phone starting now. That's not very clean. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. So now the next one will start with Socrates. So Socrates, let's see. Socrates, you're going to name three types of apples starting now. Brandon Smith, green. Um, candy apples? You got it. You got it. All right. Now we're going to go to summer. Name three prime time or late night talk show hosts starting now. So Jimmy Kimmel was out. So Jimmy Kimmel was out. So now it's going to go to Matt. Matt, name three prime time or late night talk show hosts starting now. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now it goes to me. Name three late night or prime time talk hosts, talk show hosts, starting now. Oh, Jay Leno, David Letterman, and oh, all right, now it goes Bob. I'm at work. I don't get home. All right, all right. So this will be a dead round. So we're gonna do we're gonna do one more, and then we're gonna get back once to the madness. We're gonna talk to David for a little bit. So, all right. We'll do both sides. So we'll do one more round. Team three. Original Netflix series. <laughs> if it's wrestling, I'm good. I'm starting now. <laughs> Don't have a clue. <laughs> All right, Kristen. <laughs> Three Netflix original series starting now. Stranger Things, Black Mirror. Oh, ah! uh, Stranger Things and Black Mirror are out. They cannot be said again. Uh, David. Three Netflix original series starting now. Uh, <laughs> All right, Sagratines. Do you even know three? Tommy Simbazo is really good at this game. <laughs> so three Netflix original series starting now. The Mandalorian, Lord of the Black. That's not Netflix. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was this one. Oh, All right, Summer, it's getting to you. We're, we're really dragging feet on this one. Like, <laughs> three, 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 three original Netflix series starting now. All right, Matt. It's you and then it's me. And I have nothing on the plate. I have like a couple. Um, all right, three Netflix original series starting now. All right, three Netflix original series starting now. Richardson, you, and Orange is New. Orange is New. All right, well, that's a dead bounce. I know Richardson just because my wife watched that. So we're going to do the back end, and then that's going to be it, and it's going to start with Bob. Name, this is easy. Name three Thanksgiving dinner foods starting now. Turkey, potatoes, green beans. All right, cool. That's easy enough. Now, we're, we're being joined by David Gilbert. Of course, David Gilbert. Uh, you're working on another book, aren't you? Oh, yeah. It's going to be published. Okay. Uh, let's say my office is coming. Okay. And uh, what's the title of the book? Persistence of the Dam. Persistence of the Dam. Oh, 
Okay. Now, is that going to tie off your any your other book in any way? No. This this is standalone. It's a young adult. It's uh, about a uh, science project, high school science project that goes bad. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So it's a it's a high school science project that goes wrong. Yeah. So does that cause the zombies or uh, and without spoiling too much? Now, now that's the thing. And I'm not sure if you heard earlier, but we were talking about you know if you if you were a coroner or you you were a mortician. And Anna Nicole Smith came in. It's like, you know, she's there. It's like, you grab those cities or you not. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, could Anna Nicole Smith be reanimated from that failed science experiment? Absolutely. I think that would be prior, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would, it would be 100 percent practical. But yeah, yeah. And, so now, David, now we we're, were also talking about the multiple personalities that are in this room. Football player, author, adult film star. Local comedian, you know, all, all kinds of different walks of life. If you were to write a book on all those personalities together in one room, what would you title that book? Yeah. The party. The party. All right. The, the, the party. Yes. On, the party. Yeah, yeah, it's the party, but on the front of the book is a decomposition and a cold smell. And then there was a good movie when John Rambo had a swim for the hotel in Pittsburgh. Twinkie <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Star of the Baltimore Boys. <laughs> That, that Pittsburgh show comes up very often. Very, very, very often. Especially when we're talking about Al Snow. Did, did we ever tell you about that? No. Oh, how many pitchers of beer did we smash in Pittsburgh? 23. 23. What? So, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you a short story. So, the next day, the show was over. It was, a, it was a giant bar. We had like outdoor volleyball. It's a real big place, just like this, but it was just out at an outdoor. So I always learned coming up in the business, stop by, thank the owner, you know, they give us free food, drinks, all the all the bigger name guys pour up. He go in, he buys his lunch, and he's like, listen, he goes, I don't know what the fuck happened last week. He goes, I have never witnessed so many cages of beer in my life. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, Well, I gave all the younger guys food. Beer. I gave you guys anything you wanted, but Jesus Christ, he goes, they drank my whole quarter drop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. One of the guys from the show Bloods walk around with two pitchers <laughs> all night. Yeah. Just drinking. Yeah. 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 Like, just just oh. smashing the pitchers. Yeah. 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 That sounds like a good night. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 And the best part was the maids when we got back to the hotel, the one in the room when we pulled up, yeah. and they're like, oh, who are these guys? Who are these guys? And I wake up, and all I hear, oh, that was bigger than I thought. And I open my eyes, and there's my roommate with the maid. That was the first one. The second pitch for took was, if I ever got you shaking your dick at my wife again, I'm taking you out of the picture. And it wasn't even the shot. I don't even ever told me that. And of course, uh, we're being joined by Bubba Almany, celebrity bodyguard Bubba, as we know you ran into a little bit of traffic on the way here. So uh, here, I'm going to scoot over a little bit. Actually, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Here. So uh, what's up, man? How are you? So how's it going, man? And of course, uh, you have a celebrity basketball game going on. How, how's that starting to shape out for the celebrity basketball game? It, it's going really well. Uh, Vincent will be there. Uh, she'll be there. Uh, a lot of you know, other celebrities. But most importantly, for the amazing call, you know, we're trying to uh, do the right thing, bring the community together, bring the various and full seats, the Phoenix and the Millennium Mountain. And uh, it's just going to be an amazing time. It's Saturday, August the 28th. It's Snow Hill at the Worcester County Recreation Center. So we just look forward to everybody coming out there. And uh, again, or any anything is just about uh, and, yeah. uh, using your voice platform and positive to, to bring about change. And uh, and of course, now are you guys going to be playing? I'm playing. You're playing. <laughs> so you're gonna have, okay. So have you been practicing? A little bit. A little bit. I mean, I, I play basketball. Oh, sure. Up. Yeah. You, you said you played basketball. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. So that's the thing. It's like so. Now, what's it? You have team captains, correct? Yes. So, who are team captains? 
I believe myself and then Ken Delas. Okay. So, um, now, do you do a random draw for teams? Like, is it like drawing straws? Do you have like a tumbler? Like, is it who says who says the most awful thing in the world? Like, based off of, okay, this, this person is more civilized. They're on Bubba's team. Like, like, for example, me. Ray's an awful human being. He's on Team Boss. Like, this is the way this is going to work. Yeah. So I just kind of, I try to do matchups. Like, who I thought would match up well against each other. I just try to pick the best off of fairness. So. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's the thing. Vince is just like, hey, hey look, I, I just want to win. I don't care what team you want. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to win. And, and, and how, how are the teams shaping up? Can you say who's all on? Yeah, yeah. So, obviously, like you said, Vince will be there. Uh, David Meltzer, a mutually successful, very inspiring person. Uh, Kendra Buss. Uh, Jacoby Jones and the Golden Ravens. Marjorie Smith, Samaya Ford Gabriel, the list just goes on and on. The Ali's, uh, Dr. Khalila Kamachu Ali, uh, the former wife of Muhammad Ali, uh, Muhammad Ali Jr., the other okay. biological It just goes on and on. We're, we're, just, we're grateful for everyone to, to support us. We're grateful for everyone to support us. Sweet, sweet. Now, Bubba, have you heard anything else so far? Because unfortunately, we, we were in a rush to get stuff together. I forgot the mic. And we couldn't, we couldn't get everything hooked up to the speakers. And thank God we did it because those are two kids. So we can't do everything on Twitter. But th this is the real right? we're, talk we're, we're talking about you know, having a cold snack, you know. It's about a few corners. Yeah, yeah, we're talking. You know, and, and that's the thing. Like, we brought Matt's album, you know. And, and, and as I said, I listened to it, you know. And, and that's the thing. You're going to listen to Matt's album. And then you're going to watch The Walking Dead. And then you're going to desire it. One of, the, one, one of the walkers on there. You're gonna, you're gonna be like, that's a very desirable walker. And you're gonna sit there. It's gonna, it's gonna be rocking out. And you're gonna sit there. And, and you're gonna be like, you're gonna be like, man. Like next thing you know, kind of what Tommy said earlier. How he unzip, pull it out the dick, put it back in. You're just gonna, you're gonna pull it out. And you're gonna be like, wait, no, 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 I can't. And you're gonna put it back in. And be like, I, I just, I can't. Like I, I have my celebrity basketball game coming up. I, I just can't. This, this cannot happen. <laughs> <laughs> and and of course we cannot do the happy hour podcast that parts against humanity so Psycho, would you mind handing me one of those two boxes right there it doesn't matter which one so here's what we're going to do I'm going to open up this box right in the world. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to work right now. So go ahead pull these out of here yeah, you you got distributed a couple of cards to everyone. And then the person wants you to pull out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I told Matt, Matt, you need good. to pull out. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and once Tommy's done, anytime Tommy wants to come back up. Sure got to shuffle. You all get to come back up. Sweet. <laughs> and it's funny because our Steve, Steve Freeman, who's watching over there, he does some of our graphic art. He said it's strange watching this live and on Facebook Live at the same time. Uh, just do three. Three. That, that's not for this game. <laughs> Watch out for the wet spot. Right? Yeah, that's what you do. So, Tommy, you, you missed uh, the first round of five second rule. Which you always kill. I heard, I heard. Yeah. Uh, uh, that looks original series. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can you hear it a little bit? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, they can bring it down. Okay. Yeah, she made it a read them now. Yeah, you, you, can, you can look at them now. What? What? <laughs> 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 Now, now, hold on to your cards because those are the three rounds. So you need to use all three of your cards. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'll do, I'll do three for myself. All right. So, what I'm gonna do. Put that one back in there. All right. So, why did the chicken cross the road? So, plain and simple. So, why did the chicken across the road. So mine, I'm gonna say these breasts of mine. That's why the chicken crossed the road. Matt, what about you? It says getting mommy another beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Summer, what would you say? Why did the chicken cross the road? Freshly lost top shitty body. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bubba. She's 
cheating in the Special Olympics. Cheating in the Special Olympics, all right. That's the they cross the road for Pentasex. Socrates, <laughs> the complex geopolitical system that is the Middle East. <laughs> Little Debbie and her mom, full size Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a porn. Yes, yes. All right. So, in Radiohead's new single, Tom York repeats the phrase blank dozens of times over a skittering drum beat. Mine is the King of the Jews. <laughs> Trees with human skin. Fetal <laughs> <laughs> alcohol syndrome. Oh. Child beauty pageant. <laughs> what? Where's Grizzly Smith when you need him? Oh. 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 All right, now, last one. Now, for hunting in the king's forest, I hereby sentence you to death by, final card I have, racial profile. <laughs> Sorry, Vince. Sorry, Vince. Sorry, Vince. It's okay. Uh, I got new DNA evidence exonerated in the century. <laughs> That's all I got. Show it is. Oh. The king of fingers. <laughs> the king of fingers. This kid I found. This kid I found. Yeah. This kid. <laughs> the cutest fucking shoes I've ever seen. Uh, the end of all life on earth. <laughs> That might be this podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that, that's exactly what I think. Some of the things we discussed, and you know, it, it's just, it's just amazing. Of course, there's Bob Star, Bob Star hanging out. Of course, everybody, thank you, thank you for coming out today. I appreciate it. You know, and this is just our number one. This is our number one. We still have a whole another hour. It's like of this fiasco. Yeah, it's like Jim Cornette says. It can't possibly get any worse. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. Yes. 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 We got wrestlers, NFL players, and former stuff. Yeah. And a body. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? You have to get a show. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to name off some of the most awkward experiences that we've had in our lives. This is one awkward experience that stands out in your mind that you're like, this is what really happening. Yeah, just one. That, and I'll go first. One of mine was when I was hooking up with a chick. She had a tongue ring, and she stuck the ball of the tongue ring in the head of my pants. And I did not know how to feel. I did not know how to feel. I'm like, what? What's happening right now? Like, what? What is this? So big I, you know, I, 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 I didn't know whether to come or cry. Like, it, it was one of those things. I was just kind of like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know if I should like this, if I should not like this. So now I'm going to pass it on to Max. One time I stuck this one time. <laughs> That's like, this one time I got my time. Awkward moments every day in my life. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, uh, one just recently, I was sent down to the uh, Moose City. We have moved it actually. It's not the city. Uh, we went to a gay karaoke bar. Just, I don't know why. Just, 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 yeah. just by accident. <laughs> so I was in there, and I didn't really quite know it was a gay bar. Not no one gets gay people. I really don't care. But I was sitting there, you know, with my wife and uh, two other friends. And I noticed that this guy, he was looking at me. Right? He had this tongue ring. This no, guy was looking at me and he had a tongue ring. And I remember the story right over me. No, and uh, I noticed he was kind of like checking me out. So I was like, oh, man. Nah, he didn't think anything of it. But well, started, you, you know that you know, technically you got fucking. Well, no. <laughs> he started dancing, right? Doing his little. Don't be And he's yeah, making yeah. eye contact with me. I'm like, I swear to God, this guy is hitting me. I swear to God. And then the song, you guys know Kings of Leon. Yeah. Sex is on fire. Yeah. He starts thrusting his hips and he's staring right at me. And I said, this fucking faggot is looking at me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I said, we need to get out of here. And I said to my wife, man, we need that for half an hour. We gotta so, go. We're done. <laughs> so yeah, that was an awkward moment. So now you fucked this guy. Yeah, yeah. So you fucked him. Yeah. He came back to me in my wife's hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> and he 
Yeah, but it's not tolerating. I'm like gaping your ears. <laughs> <laughs> I know my Pringles, Dan Size ass. Like, yeah. What was the name of that doctor? Uh, the, the, the real doll doctor. Yeah, there, so basically Matt had to call the real doll doctor when he was done. Real doll doctor, I have a gaping hole in my asshole. Please help me. I, I was actually that fuck doll that fixed. So, yeah. <laughs> that was me. And, uh, hey, Dave. So uh, anyway, Summer, we're going to go with you. And of course, you've, you've had a lot of awkward things. You've probably it doesn't done. have to be sexual. So, but... Yeah, it doesn't have to be sexual, but name what you think. <laughs> one thing that stands out is one of those awkward moments of your life. Since I'm kind of saying that there's a long list, but I would probably say I've had time shots with Ron Jeremy when he used to do our bodies. Was this, was this when he was like full out Mario? <laughs> no, he was already the chief. Um, <laughs> he used to take a celebrity's face and put okay. it on our body. So I went over to his house, which he's a complete hoarder. Oh, I wouldn't imagine Ron Jeremy being a hoarder. That's me being sarcastic. Maybe you just walk in and be like, yeah, hey, here, here's my random pile of shoes. Let's get it on. Ron like, Jeremy's yeah, house yeah. is gross. Yeah. 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 Who, who would have thought? Don't mind these 17 microwaves I have. Take your pants off. <laughs> he has like 50 cases of the stuff he did with Snoop Dogg. So I get it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Wait, what? He has a dream walking around his apartment calling him. And he's going to be in his apartment. <laughs> and he's going to be in his apartment. Yeah, yeah. Why, why is there a turtle here? Like, what is it? Like, and it's a turtle with his head in his shell. Please tell me, guys. This is real. Really? How did you guys fuck that turtle? Please tell me more about this turtle. Yeah. All right. Bubba. I would say. Like being a bodyguard, there could be awkward experiences or encounters. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe like if a client starts getting too flirtatious with people stuff, you gotta know how to just channel and be a professional. You know? Yeah. So, I would say so, so pretty much if it's the kind of thing that you have a client and they're like, you know, they're getting a little flirtatious and they're like, hey, we want the ball, the tongue ring ball in the, in the head of my penis. You know, we, 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 you know, you're just kind of like, nah, dude, this, this can't happen. Yeah. Good for you because I definitely fuck a lot. Now, now, David, <laughs> I mean, we're, we're going to move to David, and David this could very well be the first time I was on the Happy Hour podcast because he had to play Would You Rather, and Matt, Matt just comes out of left field, and Matt's just kind of like, "So, Would You Rather suck ten dicks at once or ten dicks one after another?" And I'm just sitting there like, oh, Matt, you just you just broke our guest. Like, oh, what? what? He's What's wrong with it? So, yeah, yeah, he's just like, what the hell is this? So, if it's not that, then what would you say? One of the most awkward experiences you've ever had in your life. So it just comes to mind. Samantha York came into the bathroom while I was at John Skip's house. Okay. Um, and I was like, you know, she's a pretty good porn star. I mean, yeah, yeah. York. And um, I thought that was a surprise, you know, but yeah. And Vince Oh God. What about you? Now we know you. You win the Virginia Tech. I was about to say this. Yeah. This story is short and sweet. Yeah. So within the first 24 to 36 hours of me and my freshman roommate being roommates, he walked in on me. Hook it up with some chick on campus, <laughs> right in the middle of the floor. Yeah, yeah. She's just, she's just, she's just like, sitting there, and they're like, dude, what the hell are you doing to Anna Nicole Smith? Did she <laughs> die like three years ago? <laughs> uh, we came, literally, we came in that morning, put in our stuff, unpacked, left, did our check in the campus, came back three hours later, and he was walking in on the face. Right smack that in the middle of the floor. Oh. Walk in, grab the shit and cut the door. And of course, Bob Star is looking at me because Bob Star <laughs> knows he's next. <laughs> Bob, 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 Bob Star knows he's next. Bob, 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 Bob. Bob. this question yeah. will be me single and I'm not even with the music company. <laughs> I mean, let's just say a very entertaining thing. 
when you're the young kid on tour with WWF, all yeah. the local girls in our town want the fresh kid. Yeah. And so there's your mother. Yeah. And... <laughs> I feel this is going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not. I, I'm not naming names, but let's just say I've seen a mother and daughter give instructions on what to do to each other. <laughs> Interesting to say the least. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you wonder why. Does that, 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 that kind of count as Snoops to forget? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does that kind of count as incest? I think it 100% counts as incest. <laughs> now, Cypher Teens, of course, we know we're going to get an amazing story from you. I was going to say the time I met Al Snow in a nightclub, but hey, you remember that guy that used to be on the show? His name was like Mike. Mike Layers, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, well, right? yeah, yeah. One time I was on a few substances and I was naked except for a paper bag over my dick. <laughs> and I was looking for somewhere to jerk off. So I opened the door to the room because I thought the room was empty, but it was Mike and his current <laughs> wife. And I just looked at both of them and I said, sorry, wrong room, and I turned around and I left. <laughs> And then I went to the other room. I've heard that story before. That's not what Mike said. <laughs> <laughs> what does Mike say? <laughs> we're in that room a little longer than two. I might, have, I, might have, I might have stolen like a three second glance. <laughs> but then said, I went to the other room and I handled my business, brother. Mike, Mike says you were handling your business in that room. And him and his wife noticed. <laughs> and and that, that's when you left because they were just kind of like, dude, what the shit is going on? Just leave the paper bag I'll be honest, but I was so drunk at first, I thought it was just two random people. I was like, who are these people? Yeah, who are these, who the hell are these people right now? What the hell is this? And then, and then Al Snow walked in and he said, that was a long time ago. <laughs> All right, Tommy. This one time I was a paper bag. <laughs> and there was this guy named Secretary. So how was it for you? It was very wet. <laughs> uh, no, this one time uh, I was at summer camp in middle school. And it was a two-week summer camp. The first week there, I shit my pants. And I did nothing about it. I didn't take off the underwear. I just got noticed. I just got noticed the smelly kid at summer camp. We even took like a, a, a five mile hike to this river, and all the other kids were playing. But I didn't want to reactivate the shit. <laughs> we finally we get back, and I wait till everybody was doing something else, and I finally went and chiseled this underwear off, and I just fucking threw him into the woods. <laughs> just, and, 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 and that's the thing when you threw him. Was it like an over like pants? Like, yeah, like, yeah. They were, it was, it was, it was, it was still pants. Yeah, like they weren't even falling off. Like they were like the way. I just threw the underwear off, off, and they just disappeared into the woods. So <laughs> well, then later that day, yeah. my bunkmates uh, they were coming down with our our, our counselor, yeah. and they see me on the trail. And the counselor's name was Ben, and he was from England. He was like, "Oh, Tommy." You didn't happen to defecate in your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> What? Me? No, guys, come on. I'm, I'm cool right now. It's like, because we found this underwear with your last name written. In. And my mom had written my name in my underwear. We found these underwear, and your name was written in the shit. No, no, no. What did you find? This is Tommy. This is Tommy. This is totally mine. Like, no, no, no. Johnny stole my underwear. Yeah, who's, who's shit my underwear? <laughs> you're, you're going around to all the cabins. Which one of you shit in my underwear? <laughs> this is <Santa. laughs> so they, they the system. Like, like this, it be like, for example, both of celebrity game. Someone shits themselves. So it's like at that point, it's like it's kind of like a Scooby Doo mystery at that point. And, you know, you're, you're sitting there, you're looking around, it's like, what happened? And then you know, Vincent, Vincent's just kind of like, come on, Kendra. Did you shit in my underwear? <laughs> like, oh, no, like, like, I mean, it's bad enough that last week we were at Hysteria Brewing Company. We were live from Hysteria Brewing Company, and there was this dog, Scooby-Doo was there. I swear to Christ, Scooby-Doo was there because he knew. He knew how to call someone out on bullshit. Because we were talking about Secretes killing that innocent prostitute and burying her in a jar. And as soon as Secretes started denying it, the dog started barking. And I'm like, oh, he would have got away with it too if it weren't for this dog. And he's out of But well, then you notice that dog disappeared. Yeah, because he knew too much. Yeah, yeah. So I had to take him out of the picture. That was two holes in yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, actually, there's multiple holes in Secretaries. We're not going to get into I'm that. Going, I'm going to the, I'm going to the John Wayne Gacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're actually under his house. They're, the wall. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're sitting there, and then the next thing you know, they, they dig up all these people, and then they find 
Tommy's underwear from years ago. This says Tommy Simbazo. <laughs> Tommy would be like, I wonder what the hell happened to those underwear. Like, I'm going to do a call about a callback here. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that? Well, in New York a few years ago, when they found all those prostitutes buried on that, by that river. Yeah. And there was a child. They're going to dig up I heard, I heard about that. You know? and I instantly thought that you did. So <laughs> <laughs> he's the chief reader. Yes, yes, he's the true green river killer. But we don't have the river. So what, what, what river is it? Let's see, we're in Dutch. It's Susquehanna. It's Susquehanna. He's the Susquehanna, the Susquehanna River. Actually, he can be the, uh, the shit dome killer. Yeah, yeah the shit dome killer. He's the <laughs> They're gonna find a child there over there, right next to Grizzly Smith. <laughs> and speaking of which, we were in Dundalk, America. Of course, I'm a Dundalk, and you know, had a lot of memories right around the corner from here. At one, what was it? Uh, night shifts. We used to go to night shifts. Yes, night shifts, which we have experienced. And, and Vincent, you, you're on the road a lot, so I'm going to direct a question towards you very shortly, and then also towards you, Simon. And so we went to night shifts, and never before have I ever seen, basically, if you look around, you see all the fans around, the way the fans expect. They had these fucking poles in it that spun. Kind of like if you look at the ceiling fan, put a bar around that. And that's what the pole looked like. Put the bar down on top. So Not quite we, that speed. Yeah, yeah. But well, I've seen them get up to that speed fast. before. But, like that, what, but what, what the girls were trying to do is they would learn to hook their feet into the bars and they would sit up, they would do a sit up and they would teacup that shit. Like, you ever go to like the carnival, you fucking teacup? Yeah. They would teacup that shit and then go like upside down. More often than not, more often than not, and me and Blood have seen this maybe 40 or 50 times, that bitch's foot would come unhooked and she would go flying across night shifts or go and hit the floor. And me and Blood would be like, oh, we'd be like, one, two, we would see if she could get back up by the count of 10. So, pretty much, yeah, yeah. So, it's instant in your travels. Now, I'm sure you probably visited a few gentlemen's clubs or two. You know, what is the, the craziest thing you've ever seen in a strip club? A chick going to split on the on the beam at the top of the roof. The top what? Of the floor. Yeah. And what? King, King Where was that at? King of Diamonds to Miami. She climbed up the pole, went all the way up to the top of the roof. And then you know that metal beams kind of extended yeah. over the metal pillars on the roof. Yeah. She went off of the pole onto the beam, held herself up, flipped upside down, did a whole split. Kind of like twerked her ass a little bit during the split. Came back down safely, upside down. On the pole, I was amazed. Like, full speed, Vincent's right there. He's probably drinking. He's just sitting there watching this ball. And then she comes back down, and he just imagine she clamps that leg around your head. Oh, I gave her every dollar in my pocket. Vincent has one of those money funds. He's just. I'm like, you were playing with your life. We know what our favorite football moment night shift was. Yeah. Bump tipping the girl with a J. Yes. Yes. Bob, do you? Bob, do you remember Bump? Bump. That's Bump. We we once took that one to night shifts. And for anybody listening at home or anybody who doesn't know the backstory back home, he, he was someone that was at a wrestling school that wasn't all there. But he also kind of do the falls right, so we called him back bump because he wanted to do a basic back bump. So we took him to night shift one night, and there was this wrestler, not really that good, his name was J-Ball. So we had a promo pick of J-Ball. That I purchased. That he purchased. So the girl comes over and holds open her G-string. And Bump tips her with the Jay Baller promo pick. She takes uh, one. She takes one look at it. She goes, "What the fuck is this shit?" Throws it back in his face. <laughs> like, how dare you? That's Jay Baller. He's a Castle Pain superstar. And, and Summer, you have you ever done a tour of strip clubs? Like, have you ever danced a strip club? Okay, what what do you think was the wildest night you've ever had at a strip club? You guys are playing the NFL. That was this one time in Miami. This one time in Miami. I went up to the hood. What happened to Miami? I've seen guys spend their entire Real. Have you ever just seen someone just take? Have you ever seen someone just take their wallet and just put it on the table and go? 
Everything I own is now yours. Oh, wow. Here's the kid, my keys to his car, everything. Everything I, I think there's been times where I've been drunk enough where I could have potentially done that. Like, hey, I, I remember one, one night we were at, uh, what was it, Christina's, and he was telling us, he's like, I'm going to take you to Vegas right now, and we're going to get married. And she was like, right, right, right. Yeah. Let's not talk about your schemes, okay? All the high priests in the building. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. he's very soft about his schemes. We have bodyguards at the Yeah, yeah. Mike, you know, Mike. 
Hey, at least you show up at the shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Matt, what about you? What do you think your favorite moment slash? Oh, I got to say, Matt, you going to say I cut you off? The one we've been doing. He, so he didn't mean to cut us off. Oh, yeah, he said I don't mean to cut. I don't mean to cut you off. He, he cut us off anyway. This episode we're doing right now currently. Yeah. It's been something else. Yeah. I think this is the reason that Nietzsche once said God is dead. <laughs> also, you, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Really and honestly, truly, I mean, every episode is not to me is great. Like, even though I'm like drunk at the time we're on the fucking show. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. That one guest we had. Karen Fisher? Karen Fisher? Yeah. She, uh, just doing that live. She went to the interview uh, live. She was a hell of a promo. Yeah. 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 And, and also, when we, uh, when we had a West Campus. Just oh, seeing Wes no, look no, around no, like a madman. Okay. I yeah, have to say Wes yeah, yeah. I mean, mine, honestly, you know, to be dead honest, and I was talking about this on the way here with Cypher Keys, be able to see guys like Bob, right. you know, you yeah, know, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. And I mean, that's the thing. And of course, Bob Starr, you can see it in the background. Bob Starr's official t-shirt available at www.dhhpod.com. Pick yourself up one and wear it when you meet Bob at one of the conventions that he will be doing in the future. And, you know, mine is just being able to see you guys and, you know, just the opportunity of the guests that we've had. And, you know, I'm starting to form a lot of good friendships with people. We have a friendship with Tommy Savazzo. We have a friendship with, yeah, it's all about having that's you know, as much fun as you like, can. Some people may take the language wrong or take some of the subject matter wrong, but, but it's just a joke around. Yeah, time. yeah, you know, and I mean, that's what it is. It's like, you know, this show, 100%, is about having a good time. And that's what it's all about. And speaking of having a good time, what we're going to do is we're going to get into a beer of the week. Well, just getting putting it back in the 90s, who would have thought the three of us, yeah. 22 years later, hey, you guys going to do a podcast together? Yeah. We've been yeah. like, who's a podcast? Bob will be here 20, and that's oh, the thing. Really? We yeah, were talking about this We earlier. talked about this earlier. Bob it's looks the same as he yeah, had when I met him. Bob when I was 16. Found the fountain of you. When I signed up. I don't know about you. Yeah, yeah, he was the greatest one, yeah. and that's well, why I did so it. Here's the thing, though. Bob, when I signed up at MEWF, Bob looked the same way he does today. And that's the thing. Bob hasn't changed. And I'm like, what the fuck did Bob do to where he stays young? Like, I, stay, I, I stay single as much as possible. <laughs> that's that's it. That's, <laughs> that, that, that's, it. that's exactly what it is. That's, pretty much that's exactly what it is. I haven't pulled yeah. away. Uh, it turns gray, but I haven't pulled it out. Yeah. And of course, what we're going to do, we're going to get into our beer of the week. Our beer of the week this week is a, Jimmy, is a Jimmy's Famous Seafood exclusive, which is PETA Tears. And they, they went through this whole thing with PETA, and you know, PETA was coming after them for all the crabs and the seafood that they do. So they made a very special group called PETA Tears. And that's what their beer of the week this week is, PETA Tears. And of course, our shot of the month is, maybe to you, me, Jaeger. So Jaeger we have had a lot of dark blackout moments with Jaeger. So, and once again, big shout out to Jimmy's Famous Seafood. So thank you for that. John. Yeah, John. John, John, John John's the best. Like yeah, he, he came in for like, we were, and I'm going to give a little bit of a backstory of what happened. We were supposed Beef to do Bob this. Bob sucks ass. And Beef Bob's, 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 take a fucking walk. <laughs> <you're throwing. laughs> and see, here's the thing. Beef Bob's, Bob's, we canceled out. I haven't gotten as much message, anything like that. Like, hey, you guys still come in. You know, nothing like that. Nothing. And then, you know, I'm just kind of like, hey, where did you guys, like I told John, I was like, hey, when we're done, if you have time, you know, we'll make you some commercials or I'll make a commercial for you. You know, Jimmy says they've seen so many restaurants. This is amazing. They, yeah, they, they, they have what they do for the community. I grew up here yeah. in the local area. I live like eight minutes from here. It's like the yeah. stuff he does for the community. And like you said, the other businesses, it's like, and the thing of it is, he's very modest. Oh, yeah. He does it. There, you start to compliment him, and the smile comes, but it's yeah. almost like it's a comfortable, natural thing. Yeah. Him and his family have done so much for this area over the years. Yeah, and I mean, that's the thing. It's like he did not have the most commitment to do this, you know, your life. And, and that's the thing. I never ever expected us to do this at Jimmy's. And the whole thing is, is it's special to me because someone commented, why don't you do it at Jimmy's? And John was like, I saw let's it. do it. And the sad part is, I feel bad because I'm like, using you know, I wanted to put a lot more people in. But we only had four days at that point to promote because I didn't want to promote these four bobs because they weren't promoting us. So I was like, right, you know, why are we going to bring in, you know, all these people there? And I mean, you know, at least here we have the Wi Fi, so we got the Facebook Live, you know, all that stuff going on. So, you know, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're food trucks, they have three food trucks. You know, the Jimmy's Famous Foods, which 
It's free shipping anywhere in the United States. So here, some of the most amazing stuff. Yeah. And, 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 and I got the crab cakes before we came down. And the yeah. crab cakes were just yeah. awesome. Yeah. And of course, Chad Austin. Chad Austin. Oh, Chad Austin. Yeah. Chad Austin. 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 Chad's like, hey, I, what's up, guys? Where's that movie star? <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a picture of a movie star <laughs> or a sex tape. That was sex tape. Speaking of which, oh, what, Bob, Bob, what all do you know of Eric Emby and his performance? <laughs> I've heard, 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 heard the legend yeah. of him in the WWE show. Yeah. Jeff Jarrett, you know the story about the match that 
in China where he helped Vince up for the money, right? Yeah, yeah. I love the fact that he got a hundred grand out of Vince for one match. Yeah. He yeah. got a little, and they still brought him back for the whole thing. Yeah. Well, see, here's the thing. Like, I, I would not it. jump. I'll be honest. I don't know if I jump to a girl for a hundred grand. <laughs> I priest, I priest has got a, I priest respects the business, brother. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Like, maybe if it was Katie Grove's corpse. <laughs> Here's the thing, but Jeff Jarrett also, you gotta look at it like this. Who was the first thing that happened to Jeff Jarrett when WCW was purchased? He was fired. Oh, yeah. yeah. There, yeah. It, it, it doesn't even go without saying. Like, you know, Jarrett was there, and I'm sure Vince probably saw him. But you gotta give him credit because he started TNA, yeah. and some of the big, biggest stars in the business started in TNA. Oh, yeah. AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, yeah. you know. Whatever, whatever happened to Global yeah. Force Wrestling? I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Well, we know. We know Impact still exists. Yeah. But we only know this because Kenny Omega has been on there on yeah. AEW. Yeah. It's on like yeah. channel 468 now on 4 a.m. on Tuesday. Yeah. 4 a.m. On even I even I don't watch Impact and I watch everything. Yeah. I mean that's the thing. Like to be able to be an Impact, but of course you know we can't show on Jared too much because Jared is smart. Jared did smart business. Yeah. And the smart business part about it. Is that he was always employed, always, regardless if he paid Chad Austin or not, but he was always employed somewhere. Somewhere, like you know, now he's doing a podcast with Conrad Thompson, you know, the same guy that, that has the, the Jeff Jarrett podcast or the uh, Jim Cornette podcast. So, you know, it's just, it's just so. I gotta say, we, we talked about Bob, no, Jeff Jarrett's another guy who hasn't really aged, yeah, you look at him, man. He's in his fifties now. He still looks pretty yeah. much the same as he did Some guys who you would imagine when it ages well yeah. are aging terribly. Yeah. Like look at Shawn Michaels. Yeah. Shawn Michaels, yeah. like he, yeah, I mean, he's, yeah, I don't know if that. Shawn well, Michaels, he looks really, you know, fit. I mean, he's so fit. But, uh, I don't give a fuck. He's a good looking man. But then we hit probably about, I don't know, about recent. He's now 50, he's 56 now. He's like 56, yeah. Man, he looks terrible. Now, he, Sean has done a few extracurricular activities in his yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sean, Sean's had a lot of sunny days. I, I here's the, here's the question. Is he, is, he, is he still a sexy boy? Yeah. Well, I, mean, I think he always was. I don't think he knows. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> Still alive and kicking and going strong. Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh, we don't know how, but he yeah. is. Well, see, here's the thing. I think all the shit that Jake did has crystallized yeah, his body. Yeah, He's exactly. like Keith Richards. Yeah, he, he basically had mummified. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it basically, he, it was kind of like from out of high. Like, Jake sat there, and like, you know, it, the stuff's in his body, but, you know, it's also the kind of thing of, uh, hey, you know, what, 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 what is that? Like, hey, you know, here's the thing, and, I, uh, and it's not like a theory that I have, it's like, it, it's been proven to work with so many people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, if you're a partier, you do all these drugs and shit, and all stuff, you don't, it doesn't catch up to you until you stop doing it. Oh, yeah. You stop doing it, and that's when you start going. Well, well that's, that's, that's exactly that's what happened to me. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's in trouble because he's not doing that anymore. It doesn't you up because your body's Starts going like, although, to be, yeah. where, where although, although to be fair, <laughs> to, be, to, be, to be fair, if I hadn't stopped on August 29, 2010, I would have been dead on August 30th, 2010. All right, either kills you or you, you know, it's a Bible. Well, what's more shock? Here's a good question. That Jake's still alive at 65, yeah. or that I'm still alive at 40. <laughs> That's, that's, a think, that's a title. That's a title. It's more so that you're still alive at 40. Yeah. Like, Jake being alive at 60 is not a huge surprise because that shit's keeping him alive. Yeah. And also, he's fucking Jake Roberts. So, like, come on. Oh, yeah. Look, out the TV. 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 You know what Jake, you know what Jake and I have in common besides drugs? What's that? We both work Chase Rollins. Ah. Uh, yeah. see, here's the thing, too. Is but I actually remember it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, I mean, 
YouTube and never remember that in a million years. But and I'm, just, I'm watching the TV and I just saw Roman Reigns do Zack Ryder's old finish. And I'm like, what the hell is like that? Oh, like, oh, like, oh, like, yeah. And it's last night. Oh, yeah, this is last night. Yeah, it was last night. Yeah. But see, the whole thing is, is you know, maybe if Shawn Michaels I did DDP yoga, it'd probably be a little bit better. Oh. Like, we need to send Shawn Michaels I <laughs> to DDP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His... <laughs> so, wait a minute. Sean's eye is lazier than Butch's ring style. Oh. <laughs> and of course, uh, of course, you got myself. And I, I can say that because, in my opinion, Shawn Michaels is the greatest worker of all time. All the right. And of course, you got myself ready to met your secretaries. We're the host of the Happy Hour podcast. And, you know, our guests are make playing they're eating a little bit of food. So, once again, if you guys are still listening or watching live, thank you for joining in. Uh, you know, it, it's been amazing. Make sure you go out and grab some of that merch. Yeah. From our merch store. You know, we, we got a lot available. We also have Al Stoker Summer Team. Yes, now yes, 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 we also now it's have available now. Yeah, oh. the Al Snow Pierce Cyprates t shirt is now available. And on the back, it says Cyprates 1, Al Snow 0. And who knows? Al Snow's music could still hit before we leave here. And Al Snow could confront Cyprates. I got a feeling. By the end of next month, it's going to be Socrates 2, Alto <laughs> Zero. So you want to DJ through this fucking door right here, slam it through this fucking table. Yeah, yeah. Oh what, what would be a bigger I shot? What would be a bigger shot? Al Snow on the podcast or Mike Blair on the podcast? Oh, that <laughs> That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we should get Mike to dress up like Al Snow. Oh, yes. Right, right, on his forehead. We should get Al, we should get Mike to dress up like Al Snow. And that way, it doesn't, it makes sense when Al Snow no shows. Because it's just, yeah. Like, Al Snow won't be here because Mike Blair is Al Snow. Yeah, so it's not sure here now, but we'll put him on his old wig. Yeah, yeah. And when we put Mike back into like the darkness of everything, you won't even be able to tell. You'll just see hair. Oh, when I, when I met it, Mike did have long hair. So. Yeah. Uh, I heard I heard she heard that. <laughs> Chris Tommy Simbazo is joining us today. Yeah. So, uh, Chris Tommy, we're just we're just sitting here talking about wrestling in general and just various. Yeah, about how Al Snow so, what, what, uh, what, what's, what, what's going on with your Hulu special, man? I we last I talked to them, they were getting they want to release an audio album. So uh, they sent me the raw footage to do the metadata, okay. where I go through and I, I fill out a spreadsheet saying, okay, from this timestamp to this timestamp, this is what the joke is called. From this time stamp to this time stamp, this is this show. We need to edit okay. this because we restarted it. So, how uh, like how a CD, like track yeah, listings on a CD, even a track listing and where it should be edited. Okay. And that's the last I heard from it. But I really, you guys got it. You got to check out VR comedy, okay. virtual reality comedy. Well, I mean, we, we checked out virtual reality porn, and that's fucking nice. Yeah, VR porn. Like right. yeah. Well, when your dick is done, you can then <laughs> go watch comedy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, no, it's great because you have all those little like animated characters. Yeah, and it's just it's interesting, and it's like, hey, you know, and, and I mean, like, with that, is that live? It is live. live. So how how weird, how weird is it performing the video or comedy? Well, it's I say it's it's between live comedy and Zoom because uh, I've never performed for less than forty people okay. in a in a VR show, okay. and uh, you can hear people laugh if they if they're muted, they'll send up like emojis, like yeah. laugh emojis and stuff. Uh, they even have a bouncer. There's a guy that dressed like his avatar looks like Mario. <laughs> and uh, his name's Arlo. And like and it feels like you go to a club because when you spawn in, you gotta walk down this hallway. Yeah. And you see familiar avatars. I always dap up security. Like, hey, what's up, man? <laughs> and then uh, but yeah, he'll uh, Arlo, if you're so talking how are you? How are you? Shout out to the man taking pictures today. How are you? How are you? Oh, how are you? So, <laughs> But if uh, if you if you're talking, Arlo will hop out from behind the bar and give you like give you a shut up. <laughs> and if you don't, then you just see them, he boots them. It's yeah. weird. Nice. I've seen a guy get thrown off stage for telling a racist joke. <laughs> so he <laughs> just goes up there. You yeah. see it? He just walks no. The, the ho- he told this joke. It was as long as race as far as racist jokes go. This was yeah. It was it, it's like hate. Yeah. yeah. Right. But it was it was uh, people in the crowd took issue with it. And then somebody went over and you could see him like talking to the host like he was 
put them all in the suit, and so you can't touch anybody. Yeah. So it's not like he can remove them all, but the host went behind him and like put his arms through him and like wave his hands in front of his face, like, hey, he stop, get off. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of world are we living in when we can't appreciate a good racist joke? <laughs> it wasn't even a good race. Uh, yeah. I, can, good I can tell a good one. I mean, it's yeah. got to be tasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And plus, it was like a video wasn't game. Anything theme about, wasn't anything about a video game theme. Wasn't, yeah. wasn't anything about. Wasn't anything about. Wasn't anything about. Yeah, the guy was like, let me like, try my new black juice. Wasn't yeah, anything yeah. about twos and a Hulk swag? No. Okay. no just that, checking. Just checking. Wasn't that good? You know how many you put in there, right? Let me talk about the black Xbox. Yeah. And not the white Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? It's a black Xbox? Xbox. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Well, that was those when it was Mizar Henry. Right. They did it the X-Men. <laughs> you showed me the black gold dust of that outlaw film. Hey, yeah, yeah. We, we, looked, we, looked at a, uh, we looked at a flyer before we came here. And it was a flyer advertising the black gold dust. He goes, he goes by the black gold dust. Yeah, yes. Yeah. He goes, and it was at a church. He was, was he wearing, at a church. Was he, he wearing did. gold face? No, he was wearing gold we did, we did, we did everything. On the one high episode we were talking about Halloween costumes, my personal favorite that I was, was Kobe Bryant in yes. blackface. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had the Afro, old school Kobe too, I had the Afro wig. Well, we had, we had Josie. Yeah, yeah we were suggesting costumes for Josie. I told her, I was like, you should be the helicopter that killed Kobe Bryant. Like, <laughs> and, 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 yeah. I like that before then, before Kobe died, if you were going to like throw a paper ball into like a trash basket, Kobe, <laughs> Kobe but now that he died in that crash, he takes on a whole new. You can still say Kobe, and yeah. he's still alive. Yeah, it takes yeah. on a whole new context. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're, 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 we're awful. We went off the rails a long yes. time ago. And, and what's funny is I also like my asshole started punching a little bit because Tommy, when he started talking about his virtual reality thing, he's like, "Yeah, I don't perform him." In front of less than forty people, I'm just I'm trying to look around. Oh, no, no, and, yeah, and, yeah. and like I heard that first part, I'm like, well, that's quite bad news for Tommy. Yeah. All these people are here for us. <laughs> <laughs> for the record, all these people are here for us. <laughs> well, that's our thing with VR comedy. All the people that go to it, they're there to see comedy. It's not like they're in a bar where people have to turn TVs off and stuff. Yeah. And they're, it's great crowd. The only thing is, there's a two second delay from when you deliver your punchline to when you'll hear your first laugh. Okay. And it's just enough time so to it's think. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. And then like people will start laughing. Oh, oh, yeah. just, like, so you end up you end up learning you have to fill that space. Like I'll tell a punchline and then just do speak the joke. That's your thing. Yeah. 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 Which I, I found myself because I with uh when I performed at the movie when I did that guest set, I was doing material that I worked on in VR comedy. So I had like I had new stuff, but then I, I didn't even uh, and every time I get the punchline, I was still going. Doo -doo -doo! <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. And, I mean, you know, since it's the 20th anniversary, I can tell a joke. I mean, we got to talk about it. Yeah, I mean, you might as well. Yeah, Tommy will probably tell you how much fuck it sucks. Oh, no, this is, this, is, this is the pop everybody in the building. Everybody, how, did you, how did you know? How did you know Dave Mustaine was nervous when he was getting kicked out of Metallica? Yeah. He was sweating bullets. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, because they're like, oh, yeah, it's like a crab. They're like yeah. ripping the legs off the crab. 
And I, I'm sitting there, I'm looking at it. So I'm like, I'm like, Cooper just totally ripped the fucking wings off that yeah. fucking cicada. Like, he tortured us. But no, how, how, how are the cicadas? But they're like any other bug in that, because I've eaten a lot of bugs. Uh, and once you cook it, it's like if you dip it in chocolate, it tastes like a like a Nestle Crunch. Yeah, really crunchy. Yeah, it, it, there's no difference. Like this time, I had chocolate covered cicadas from a chocolate theater in Germantown. Okay. Uh, but then I heard there was a place in over by Arundel Mills that was serving chocolate covered cicadas, and so I had a buddy go and he said he ordered them, and the woman was like, "You're the only the second person to ask." Yes, yeah, sure. Grab a couple off that tree. And he had to go over and pick six cicadas off the tree. <laughs> nice, and, yeah. nice and fresh. Yeah, it's, like your, it's her tank. Yeah, yeah. And she said that uh, he was like some 15 year old kid was ripping the wings off and then shoved it into his oh, oh, Jesus And just gave it to him. I was like, oh my God. So, <laughs> I mean, I, were, were you like, were you like dive bomb? Like, I, as I said, I don't have a copy, so I drive a box truck. If I had a dollar for every fucking cicada that committed suicide, oh, yeah. oh my God, like, literally, like, I don't know what the hell they're made out of, but you can't get that shit off the right yeah, yeah. So, and I heard on the radio that you, you told Justin, so we'll get, shout out to Justin from Mighty and Rock will be on the show in September. But he said that you were riding your bike and the cicadas, yeah, blah, 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 Yeah, blah, it was like, blah, it, it was like getting shot with a baseball. Yeah. Because it, it, it wanted to be 75 miles an hour. And I was like, wow, no, no, like, please, God, stop. <laughs> so, Ray, we started out the show talking about necrophilia. Might as well close it. Which is when people are getting eaten by bugs. Now we're talking about bugs getting eaten by people. Honestly, I was here talking about bugs. And of course, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get ready and wrap up. Of course, thank you to Tommy Savazzo, Bob Star, Vincent Painter, everybody who came out tonight. Thank you to everybody who watched tonight. A huge shout out to the Jimmy Steven Seaton and Tommy Savazzo and Jeff Paul And we will be back. We will be back next week. Actually, we're a good friend of Tommy Savazzo, who's, who's Rob Mayer. Oh, nice. We'll be back with Rob Mayer from Tom from uh, Die Laughing Productions. So we will talk to him. Yeah, we'll talk to him. We'll talk to him about it. You know, the comedy show that he Talk does. to him about uh, all the travel he's done for Armed Forces Entertainment, yeah, yeah. being on uh, Kevin Hart's Heart of the City. Yeah, Rob has And Tommy, if you're, if you're not busy. Talk to, him, hold on. Talk to him about the night that he fell off the stage at the Comedy Factory. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do. We'll do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks again to Jimmy's Famous Seafood. Everybody who's out here. Myself, Matt, Bob Star, who's up here on stage for us. Tommy Simbato. Uh, oh, Sunny Summer, Vincent Painter, Papa Elmany, Baby Joker. Shout, <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Butch Us. Yes, and thank you for tuning in to Happy Hour Podcast. We will see you guys next time. Woo.